Welcome to Extracted Vision, where we have ordinary conversations with ordinary people about things we want to know, we need to know, and what we should know. The world is constantly changing. Come get a point of view from our personal perspectives while we reflect on things that we need to reflect on. Yeah. So yeah, how's yeah. your week been? My week been good. 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 I see we got a guest <laughs> sure. today, though. Hey, man, we got a reoccurring <laughs> guest, man. We're glad to have you here. Welcome, Erwin. How you doing, Erwin? I'm doing all right. I'm how your week been? Oh, so far, so good, yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. <laughs> what about yours, Trish? It's been all right. Ain't been too bad. Ain't okay. been too crazy. Okay. Just a regular. Oh, yeah? Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you know, the regular, the regular. Right. <laughs> ah. Well, I guess, uh, you know, we could jump right into it. You yeah. Know? So, you know, Earl, we really wanted to bring you back so we could just, you know, bring up a conversation that was well needed. And we could have done it during, you know what I mean, the Valentine's Day jump off. But, <laughs> you know, we had some issues. So, uh, you know, you know, with no further ado, uh, what's your opinion on how men stand in relationships with their woman that they help out with? Or even baby mothers and wives, ex-wives. Hmm. Uh, can you elaborate on that a little bit? I mean, um, sort of like, okay, this is... Um, so how do you feel about men coming second to women and not even on the same playing field to women? You know, uh, I guess I have witnessed a lot of women who um, feel like you need to do ah just to get one thing. You know what I mean? So we got to do everything. House chores, taking trash out, massaging bags, leaving out the house when they just <laughs> left the store to go back to get whatever it is they didn't want. Because they don't want to do certain. You know, it's like we put them on a pedestal and we down here still scrubbing the shoes and the feet like peasants. Hmm. Well, I think that those those things that you've mentioned is what a man's supposed to do. Um but I don't know about the part of being undervalued. Is that what you're feeling? Is that what you're getting at? Oh, man, yeah, definitely. Okay. As far as being undervalued, uh, I think a man earns respect when the man respects himself. And th th let, me, let me say what I mean about that. Uh, when the man doesn't do what he's supposed to do, because women only look for three things, security, uh, protection and love. Men operate on a different platform. And explain that. And the platform is men value respect over anything. True. You know, and but respect is never given, it's earned. True. You know, if a woman feels secure with you, if a woman feels respected and loved by you, the respect is automatic. <laughs> but without those three things, those three ingredients, you absolutely have nothing. True. She will not respect you. A woman can make more money than you and not respect you because you're not bringing anything to the table. But if you're on the same playing field, you have goals, you have ideas that's actually going to, going to work, then she'll actually work with you. So you just, you know, addressed it something that I think is very valuable for the audience to uh, really ponder on is um, if a woman make more money than you she tends to not respect you that's yes so now, not this generation this time right yes right I think back in the day it was probably a little different um, for me um, I'm the opposite I don't care how much money I make, it's how you make me feel. Like you said, if you make me right. feel safe, you know, protected, I don't care how much money I make. I don't care how much money you make. As long as we in it together, we in it, you know. Right. But you do have those ones. Mm -hmm. Going back to that, let's touch a little base back on that conversation we had the other day, though. Yes. Where you was like, most most females, you know, they don't care. If you work at McDonald's, they don't even look at you. Uh -huh. They don't pay you no attention. Go uh -huh. ahead and hit them with that one. No. I think they need to hear about that one because that one right. was something serious. Well, before you <laughs> ponder on that one, right. with what you just said, uh -huh. doesn't that almost bring in what I was saying in the beginning, how men are undervalued? You know what I mean? How if a woman work at McDonald's, though, I don't care how much money we make, mm. we still find them attractive. If but they, yeah, yeah, you, know, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Why is it that I could have a million dollars in the bank and working mm -hmm. at McDonald's 
because I don't really want to spend my own money. You know yeah. what I mean? And I know something happened. I got something to fall back on. But I'm going to still be looked at because of yeah. what I got, where I work at. Like, I'm nothing. And college degrees. Mm -hmm. huh? But, you know, since, you know, you said that, you know, they don't have nothing to do with it, I'd like to have your opinion on what she just said that just clarify what I was just saying. Well, the reason that you would look at a woman from McDonald's because a woman doesn't care. I mean, a man doesn't care about what a woman makes. First of all, true, you know, because her money is going to be her money regardless. The point is, she want to tap into your money. Um, so in that respect, you would be looking at it from the different perspective. Okay, boom, here's a woman here. She has the potential. She she treats me with respect. She may be wifey material, but a woman is not going to look at you like that. You know, it's going to look at you like. The point is, you don't have the status, you don't have the education, you can't speak well. Not that you can't learn those things, those things are about etiquette. But the fact that you don't speak well, you're not refined, you're not well-traveled, you know, she doesn't want anything with you. A woman wants you to bring her up. So do you feel like that's, that's in the but, black community? Uh, or, or is that in all I, communities? Because I haven't seen that yet. The where... only thing I can speak on is in the black community. Right. Um because it's been a long time since I've, you know, dated out mm -hmm. of, but from what I've seen mm -hmm. in the black community nowadays, uh -huh. that's, that's the trend. Okay. So this is what I'm going to say to you, right? Oh, uh, okay. So that, that's a status then. It is. That, uh, thank that's you. That's all it's okay. about. Okay. Yeah. What, I, well, what, what I'm, what I'm also meaning is, yeah. um, if you in a projects, right. that Man doesn't woman. both, you know okay. what I mean? That doesn't negate anything. The, right. It's still disrespect on a broader scale, really. You know, I haven't ever ran across nobody that's, you know, both people is doing bad. Right. Treat each other like love. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's disrespect. It's so disrespectful that when the kids see this, yes, it, it's a it's a really uh, which what would you say uh uh it's detrimental. We do it to ourselves. But we blame everything and everybody else around us when it's the household that does it. Okay. But I was just saying, that's where all of this was going anyway, to me. Here, here's the difference <laughs> between the projects. All right. I can be in the project. Right. I still have standards. She's in the project. She has standards. Right. Right? Right. If a woman disrespects you or speak to you out of the way, uh huh. who allowed it? The man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you can coach... I don't care what her status is or what her background mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. You can coach a woman on how to behave. I don't care how old she is. You sure? I'm positive. Uh, you know what, then? I'm going to tell right. you what we need to do. Yes. Hey, yo, this is a great idea. <laughs> we should write a book yeah. on doing that then because right. we don't, we, I, we got people that don't know how to do that for right. real. And I haven't met one at a, at a certain age that could be coached. Okay. That's set in my ways. You see? Attitude. Let, let, let me tell you what. Let me tell you why I say that. All right. right? You can teach a woman how to respect you, right, by the things that you do. For sure. Right? Once you do it, once you're, do, once you're doing these things, when you speak to her, she look at you as if you were her dad that she never had. Huh? That's young girls. No, that's, <laughs> that that's is, not it, a young girl. I'm, I'm talking I, about even an older woman. I, I, right? I'm a, yeah. If you don't believe me, watch Monique when she talk about her husband. I mean, listen, Monique's husband older than he, she is. Doesn't matter. I know that's still a younger. That's that's I what think, I mean. That's I not think it goes to the the dominance part of it. Boom. Exactly. Boom. A Boom. woman is supposed to submit. Yes. A man is supposed to be dominant. How many Monique can submit to just any man? No, just, it, it, takes right. 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 it takes the right, right. Yeah. right. man. It takes the right man to exactly. make a woman That's not submit. no any man though. Yeah. Any man can't do it. Look how many partners she had already. I like Ro Monique too. You know what I mean? She's cute. Yeah. Uh, why? But that's and, and right. that's and that's what's wrong with the generation. Like he said, the generation today is so different. Yes. There's not that many men out there that will make a woman submit. Right. Because they they, they have no self respect amongst themselves. Yeah. Yeah. You well, know. You know what? In order for a woman to respect you, she has to watch how other men respect you. No. Oh well, yes. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to give a be a disagreement. Right. I'm gonna if tell you why. If other men respect you, hold on. Hold that thought. If other men respect you, yeah, your woman respect you. I don't give a damn if he's a drug dealer. Um, if and all these guys are coming around the house, right? She sees that that man got respect. She automatically respects you. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to beg the difference. 
Okay. And I'm gonna tell Go you ahead. why. That's why we do this not here for the <laughs> kids, y'all. Okay. Check this out, right? Um Women that won't go get help, that's them being uh, uh, abused, mentally abused, uh, carry all of this trauma from the past. Mm -hmm. um, you, regardless of whatever, are in that lineup of men. Mm -hmm. All me she got this broad vision, um, narrow vision of man. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much money you're making. Right. I don't care what. It might be fun in the beginning. Everything mm -hmm. might look lovely in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But about three months after that to six months, what happens? They change up. I don't feel like it. When you can do it by yourself, you can go. You can, ah, 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 ah. It doesn't stop. It's just start. Mm -hmm. The real person start coming out. And it's because of the past trauma. We can't say that. I can't say that all women can't be trained. I can't do that. Right. I can't say that all women. Not trained. Well, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I'm going to say trained. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why I'm going to use the word trained yes. is because but. anytime you got to repeat yourself and continuously teach and show somebody something, you train them. Talk. You talk. Teach. Right. Well, talk yeah. is, um, we're going to sit down it's and have this class. It's a word. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I can live with that. I can live with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. All jokes. That's just right. me. I'm blunt. Yeah. I want you to feel it. Okay. <laughs> right. Go ahead. But, um, like I said, if a woman has past traumas mm -hmm. and haven't gotten it taken care of by the time she do meet Mr. Right, yes. either Mr. Right going to end up going bad yes. because of the tongue. Mm -hmm. If everybody out there listening and really want to know the truth, it's called spelling words because is a spell anything you say the more woman i don't trust you she just in the atmosphere is spell you know what i mean mm -hmm. uh you just like everybody else even though you know you're not it's just the past traumas that comes out eventually that actually adds stuff to the relationship mm -hmm. you know what there's a there's a billion good men out here women walk by them every day you know what i mean mm -hmm. and it's the truth why uh because they, we don't fit the the image of what they thought a good man looked like. You know why? Right. Because their daddy wasn't a good man. He didn't stay at home. He didn't teach her or save her from the men that done her wrong. You know? But how does she know that when she's never met you? I mean, that's, that's exactly what we're trying to get to. Okay. That's how they damage a good man. Because they don't know what a good man looked like, even if it's standing in your face. Is it because you think that um, she already have a certain perception about you? Uh, a perception about men. About men? Yeah. Or any man? Past traumas. Okay. Right. Past traumas. Mm -hmm. So when you when you ask a, I'm, I'm not going to all races, I'm going to stay with the black race. If you okay. ask a, a damaged black woman that don't know she's damaged, you might want to go talk to a counselor. Oh, you trying to belittle me? Huh? Okay. You trying to put me down? You trying to say something wrong with me? No, I'm just saying you might. Just need to go is that talk someone somebody. you're courting, or is that someone you're in a relationship with? You you're, you're referring to. Hey man, you can say that to. Um, you can go and just walk the streets and see damaged individuals that they don't know they damaged. Right. You know why? Yeah. Because it's normal. Okay. It's norm. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think even black men need to go get help, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because we do got post traumatic syndrome. <clears throat> You know how much stuff that we even carry in our DNA. You know what I mean? That's why we get tightened up when the police get behind us with the lights on. And they could be going right around us. You know what I mean? And we ain't even do nothing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So the same thing. It's just bad that our, our relationships mm -hmm. is so toxic behind past traumas. And nobody wants to address it. You know why? Because it's normal. You know what I mean? Um... Women that goes, it seems like they get the same type of men because they do. That's what you attract. You know what I mean? If, you, if a woman used to a man putting her down, putting hands on, this and that, and the third, nine times out of ten, until she starts working on herself and understanding what it is about me that it draw this energy to me, mm -hmm. what happens? She yeah. gets it. You know what I mean? So before I let a woman damage me as a good man, right, Yeah. I walks away. But I'm going to tell you what happens, though, when you do that, right? Um, women that's already got, um, how you what you what how you call it, uh, some abandonment issues, 
really have abandonment issues when they love you and you leave. See, when we can't talk, you know what I mean, as men, and we get shut down or belittled behind trying to talk, it causes a bigger uh, misunderstanding in the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's more detrimental than it is positive, mm -hmm. especially if it's kids around. We are their teachers. Right. We're supposed to show them how we deal with anger, uh, disrespect, you know what I mean, of, of all types. Mm -hmm. You know, So that's the only reason why I wanted to bring that up, though, was it seemed like we put women on this pedestal, you know what I mean? How can I be a king for a queen that constantly feel like if I'm if I'm reading a book, I ain't doing it to belittle the household because they ain't used to seeing a man read a book. I'm just doing it so maybe the kids and all will catch on. Well shoot, he, I'm gonna do the same thing. What you reading? I don't you know, it's just wow. You know, how do you how do you teach people that's already been taught garbage to erase that terminology or that them thought patterns. You avoid them. So who gonna help them? <laughs> but that's what that's is, what happened to everybody. But the thing is too, if they don't want to be helped, they don't want to be helped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That comes to like so you said, that, people being stuck in their ways. If they stuck in their ways and they don't want to elevate with you, are they really for you? So is that why oh. all entertainers, rappers, football players, basketball players, all these rich people say, I, "Get them niggas." Which one? The black, black, black football the black, the, All blacks. Everybody oh. that, that actually make it and out of here don't ever come back like that. Some do. Don't get me wrong. They create little organizations and whatnot. But there's nobody really for the black community if you're not said up here. You see what I'm saying? Because everything that reaches back, we destroy. Right. Exactly. Let's go back to the household. Let's okay. go back to the household. He just did it again. Let's go back to the household. Right. Everything that reaches back, we destroy. Yes. So if the household reaches back right. and pull that McDonald worker out of the store and be like, listen, I'll date you. Mm -hmm. Go over to the property. Listen, I'm going to help you with your bills and, and try to help you get up out of here. Maybe we can, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, it's fun. It's, it's all right. I'm having it seem like she's taking it on. But once she get out of there and attitude, oh, she done surpassed, then you're nothing. We, we, you see how that happens? Mm -hmm. But that's because you presented yourself as the ATM machine. So, um, you, then that goes to the chase the game thing. Right. Whenever, whenever a woman, let's say I'm walking down the street and I see a man, I'm like, oh, I got to have him. You know what I'm saying? And y'all do it. That, that intention is in my head. <laughs> that's all that's in my head. I got to have him. Right. So, what happens when I get you uh, and I got you where uh, I want you? The chase is over. But yeah, the chase is over. All the fun is over. I already got you. See what I'm you know about? what I'm saying? I yeah. ain't got to do all the extra no more. Well, that's that's, that's how women do. But that's where a lot of relationships are messed up. Yes. Because if you can't be my friend and we can't be a hundred percent communicative and we can't talk about anything and everything from the beginning, from the get go, I know your your you know things that you might not like about yourself. I know you know what you really like about yourself. If uh. we can't talk about everything from the get go. Uh. Then what are we going to do whenever we get to that point and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do that no more. You really don't even know that person. Uh, when the sex is gone, like you. you have nothing. Yeah. If you can't communicate. That is yeah. the truth. You know, when, when all the attraction is going out the door, yeah. you know, four or five years deep, uh, and then you can't, you have nothing else right. but each other to talk with. If yeah. you can't stimulate right. my mind, there's something wrong. If you can't communicate, wrong. then it's a bad deal. It's uh, a totally bad relationship at mm -hmm. that point. Uh, you know, that's deep, y'all. That you know, that's, so. that's the way it is. But back to the analogy that you use as far as reading a book. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right. Uh, there's a saying that's going around that says, if you want to hide something from black people, put it in a book. They'll never read it. Right. Right? That's mm -hmm. a real one right there. It is. Okay. So, so, you're showing them a different way by reading a book. Right. And educating them. Right. Self-improvement is huge, but mm. they want it in short sentences right two line sentences <laughs> you know on instagram or right facebook or right whatever. right right but as far as reading something of substance for maybe two three days mm -hmm. a week mm -hmm. no one's willing to do that no no walked into barnes and nobles mm -hmm. quite a few times and i don't we don't live in a big city right but, you know, so I can't elaborate for a place like New Jersey or New York or anything like that. Right. I can I can only speak down here in North Carolina. Right. I've walked down quite a few. 
How many black people do you think you see in there? Uh, I, I, every time I go, I don't see none but me. As many times, <laughs> <laughs> For as real. many times I've ever been in there, I'm the only black person in there. Feel I'm out of place. Yeah, like, yeah. What? Yeah. I'm the only black person. What? Right. Trying to read a book today? This is what I can say though. <laughs> uh-huh. That when I go in there though, they greet me properly. Yeah, though. yes. You know, because they so used you to seeing the me. Few. They mm-hmm. and you right, they know me. What you come right. to pick up a book or you ordering another one? You, they know mm-hmm. me by you know what I mean right. for real. That just happened to me when I went and ordered another book. You know what right. I mean? I like, um, but you, you're absolutely you, correct, you man. You see, so 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 uh, not that I'm I'm changing the subject, right? So even when you're selling someone something, let's say you was put it in your book. Mm. Automatically, their first perception is it's a scam. Right. 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 Our people. Yeah. It's a scam because we've been conditioned to think that everything is a scam. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you just trying to make money. You just trying to make money off the black community. But it could be something that helps so many people skip a certain step. You know, no growing pains. Here it is. Here's what's in front of you. True indeed. Take it. You know, run with it. Right. Because I've already made the mistakes for you. Right. Right. And that's that's the problem with us now. You know, moms want to be their kids friends. Mm. Nobody wants to parent anymore. True. Right. And the minute that you stop being a parent and you're your kids friend. Mm. Right. You're living vicariously through your kids. I hope All your bad behaviors become that particular child's behavior. Don't so, it start in the house? So bad relationships, who did they learn that from? I mean, I hope y'all listening. <laughs> For real. The Everything parents, starts in the, the house. Every, and that's what no. we need to fix. The household. We have to start right there. We right. have to. We if, have they don't, to. if they don't know what a healthy relationship look like, they what don't. do they know what they're looking they for? Don't. They, they don't know what they're looking for. Even if they have a family of their own mm-hmm. and they have the look that, hey, this is a pretty nice family. They're good to go. Mm. Deep inside, they're broken. Hey, to the max. If, if you peel off the layers, that family's broken. You yes. know why? Mm-hmm. Because that man that's in that house, let's say he grew up without his mom. Mm-hmm. He has no idea. I don't care if he's been married 10 years. Right. He has so many things that he's hiding, he has no idea how to not be a liar, how to be a good man, and how to be a good husband. Mm. Or a good father. Right. Because you're making up for something that you never learned. Is that not the truth? <laughs> is that not the truth? I became a stepdad, right? Yes. Um, I became a stepdaddy at about 15, um, 16, uh, right before I was incarcerated. Uh, um, I ran away from home early in life, you know what I mean? And, uh, I, you know, outside of my doors, because my mom used to didn't even let us go outside, right? And uh, I had to go to an alternative school. It's the first time I ever witnessed young kids having kids. You know, I never, you know, uh, I guess what you call uh, uh, resonated with me. You know what I mean? Of You know, like, this is odd. You know what I mean? But it was. As an adult, I sit back like, wait a minute, 14, 15, having kids? You know, but anyway, I ain't gonna lie. It was one chick though. We had a little girl. I it was my girlfriend. I shoot, I bought the little girl stuff. All kind of stuff. I was in the streets early, but anyway, what I'm saying is the detrimental part of our communities mm-hmm. is the lack of men. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we see them. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about little boys. I ain't talking about teenagers. I ain't talking about uh, the street walking men. Yeah. I'm talking about men that's actually mm-hmm. got morals, standards, and stand on something. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And uh, so throughout my life, as people that I date, I never, I, I didn't ever say I wouldn't date a woman that had kids. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. uh, it was this guy a long time ago. I was young. His name was Big Time. You know what I mean? And uh, he was married though. <laughs> so you know. But anyway. He used to treat me and my, my little brother and my oldest brother at like we was his, you know, anytime he came around, you know, he, he done things with us, you know, he had all kind of Cadillacs, gold watches, he was clean all the time. And so I got a lot of me from him, you know, mm-hmm. and, you know, been the fact that he showed concern about kids that wasn't even his, I think resonated with me. But in my DNA, it was already there, you know what I mean? My dad was more than that. My dad ran gyms, had parties for kids, taught swimming, 
basketball at the rec centers and everybody loved them. Anybody I ever met loved them. So that's why I brought up the thing about the DNA. If it's not in you to be who you are, you're not going to be for real. That's why I said train. Because a lot of people, if it's a repetitive thing, you've got to train them. You train dogs to be whatever you want them to be. You see what I'm saying? Through what? You say what? Through what? Through what? How do you train the dog to be what you want it to be? Through training. Repetitive training. Consistency. Consistency. Exactly. 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 Yeah. 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 Repetitive. You got yeah. to. Yeah, you're exactly right. You know, you know I'm not trying to compare y'all women to dogs or nothing, or <laughs> yeah, men to dogs. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? But I just wanted to make an analogy to yeah. let you know. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. um, our community is 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 um, at the break of distinction behind our decisions as peoples. But I think a lot of the issue, too, is, um, like you said, a man, having real men, Sometimes a woman won't let a real man be a real man. Uh oh. So if you do got a man that come into your house that want to play stepdaddy, Uh-oh. he want to be that authoritative figure for all your kids, even if they're not his. Why don't you allow him to do that? That's a question for you, moms. Would you allow, say, if you and your peoples, mm-hmm. would you allow a man to come in and be stepdad? How how would that process? You know, for me, care. I'm not bringing nobody around my kids that I don't see alone, something long-term, period. No doubt. So if you have all those values and those things that I see that is a good value to be a set father for my kids, why would I not bring you in and let you be in the life and build your own relationships and bonds with them and make sure that they know, you know, I'm the man of the house, you know. Your mm-hmm. dad might not be here, but I'm the man of the house. No you know, doubt. you willing to take that, you know, mm-hmm. effort to be in that position. Why not allow a man to do that? Because uh. a lot of women won't. Oh, you know that you know how they be. Oh, you're not their daddy. You can't tell Ooh. them what to do. Why are you talking to my kids like that? You know that breaks relationships. That? <laughs> that's the, but that's the that's the exact reason why a lot of men, especially a man that know his place in life and know where he's going, is right. not going to take on the task of being a stepdad. Why mm-hmm. would I? Right, true indeed. You know, because that's a whole set of problem of its own. It is. Mm-hmm. You know, it is. Um, so if uh, you at, at that point you have to prioritize, okay, what you want out of life, versus whether you want to take care of somebody else's kid. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and um, a man that values himself values his direction. Yeah, you're not right. going to take on someone else's kid. Uh-huh. You know, and become a, a stepdad. So why? Uh-huh. So you know, with that being said, that's almost like abandoning the uh, theory that it takes a village in our communities to raise one kid. Well, I, I you know, I, I don't, I don't think so. I think that you know, you can do that outside of actually getting involved with somebody that already has a child. Right. You know, that's my personal opinion. Right. Um, because the reason I'm saying that is. If you have, if someone has a kid, right, not only that you're getting with that woman, right. you're also getting with them. You're also being involved with that man. True indeed. That she had the kid by. True indeed. Right? True indeed. And most of it is mostly bad than it is good. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. and so, so her bad decision shouldn't make you a good Samaritan. Oh God! I never looked at it like that, but man, that was <laughs> so. So, so that that's what people are now looking at because there's so many of us doing it. So many baby mamas out there. Yes. Is it easier to become a baby mama than is it become the wife? Oh. Why didn't you make that decision to marry that man? Mm. Right before mm. you became a baby mama. Hey, you know what, man? I, I promise you, we 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 got to be soul brothers. For real, <laughs> I don't. I don't had to say that right. to some people before. Yeah. For real, that's deep. Yeah, and that's that's what women are not looking at. You right. know, they're they're quickly going to an attack. Mm-hmm. You know, over the fact that a man feels that way. Right. But you see, he's investing money. Uh huh. He's investing time. Uh. Uh-huh. Right. And nothing in return for that kid. Absolutely. Did y'all just nothing. hear that? So. Why is it that we put women on a pedestal and they don't do it for us? Yeah, I agree with that as far as... Uh, I mean, I think everything that, that we've been because, talking about been proven right. that we put women yeah. on a pedestal. Yeah. And But the problem is this. I, I'm going to tell you how we can fix this little scenario of mine is to start putting ourselves on the pedestal, women too. 
Just do it for yourself. You know, we had a conversation not too long ago. Uh, for a fact, it probably was our first podcast. Mm -hmm. When, you know, what, what women think they deserve. I deserve. I deserve. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and yeah, my, my yeah. response to that deserve was, you don't deserve nothing you don't give or do for yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to earn everything you get to, that somebody else mm -hmm. is put, putting in. You know what I mean? But if you go out there and get yourself a gold necklace, you deserve that gold necklace. If you go out there and you love you and love on you, you deserve that. You know what I mean? If you got a man that farts on the couch all night and don't even really pay no attention to you, you deserve that. You know what I mean? You choose. Thank you. Thank you. That's what gives us God powers. We got choices. You know what I mean? So we choose to continue to go through life, and I'm talking about families, and not really be family. It divided in the house. We might as well hang the game up. Mm -hmm. uh, who, it be it would be foolish for somebody to keep throwing breadcrumbs out to the communities that ain't gonna even grab some of them to help nurture and feed their household. Mm -hmm. That's all we're trying to do. We really want people to start waking up and realizing that everything the kid learn, they learn from you. Mm -hmm. Right. Let me ask you a question. If yeah. I'm back to what he said about uh -huh. a man sitting on the couch not paying attention uh -huh. to a woman. <laughs> right. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. If a if a man is sitting on the couch not paying attention to a uh -huh. woman, what's wrong with that man? As a woman, that's, what would you think is wrong with that? Man? I mean, I, that's a very good question. Right. It would be I would be asking myself that. Like, what did I do? Right. What's wrong with our? Do we not have no communication? Right. Like you know, like what's what's going on? Are you not happy? Right. That's gonna be my first question. Yeah. Are you not happy? Exactly. Like you know, and that's that's the thing. Um, I think relationships are to the point where you can't even ask. Well, what can I do to make you happy? Mm -hmm. mm. What do I need to do as a woman to make you happy on a daily basis? Right. You know, um, and that's where the communication comes in. You I, know. I agree. Um, I, I think if a man is sitting on the couch and not paying attention to his woman, like as you said, that man's broken. Mm -hmm. hmm. He's been broken by that woman for a very long time to get oh. him to that point. Oh my God, y'all hear that? To get him to that point. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, because now they're just there. No conversation, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Right? They, he has nowhere to go. Mm. And she feels like she has options. Mm. But there's nothing there. We're we're just existing in this space right. right now, right? And that's what, and that that's what most people don't identify. Right. You know. They can't that recognize there is, it. That there's a, that there's a problem. It's because it, it's oh, starting to become That's what he does. That's becoming, what he does. Right. Oh my God, that's another yeah. deep one. Yeah, yes. that's what he does. He yes. just, he just. But you know that go vice versa too, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When yeah. when you have a relationship and, and either party is not involved in the relationship, it's not a relationship. You're checked out. There's no intimacy, period. There's no conversation. Right. And intimacy just doesn't mean physical. Right. But, um, that right. means, you know, mental, you know, everything. If Turn you, the TVs off and the yeah. phones and, and you give your significant other at least 30 minutes. You give your job 8 to 10 hours. Some you, people you do know, more than that, you, and, yeah. You know, you, you give uh, love and hip-hop all the time it needs until it go off. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You give the rap stations, whatever... Why is it that the most common thing you could do is sit down and get to know your significant other? Mm -hmm. That's the best thing in the world. As long as I know that you straight, we straight. As long as you know I'm straight, you straight. It's not one-sided. Well, a happy wife, a happy life. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that goes back, like you said, to your question, too, though. Do you think that some men sometimes carry, like you said, past traumas and experiences and they have so much stuff built up that they can't properly love a woman mm. even when they got the right woman in front of them they don't know how to love them properly that's true i'm gonna tell you why I'm, I'm just, and i'm gonna let you talk <laughs> i'm gonna tell you why uh i can put myself in this equation right um mm -hmm. because of my first relationship mm -hmm. my mom she put in enough anguish in me where i did not respect the woman at all until I was in my 30s, mm -hmm. 